We are back with our Builder Nation series, and in today's episode, we are going to add a cup. This is how you do it. Okay, so we are in the editor, and we are going to make our way of adding the cup to our nation. First thing I want to do is load our editor. So last version was version 1.32. Today that is going to go to 1.4. So before I forget, I'm actually going to save that as, just so that we don't save over anything. Okay, now we are good to make some changes. And if we ever need, if we do mess anything up, we can just revert back to 1.32. So first thing we want to do is add a competition rule in to our list. Now, my man, as you can see, it just says rules. It's because we need to add that composition into here. And to do that, you need to go to your list of London, go to other, and then open that list up, go to your rules, go to your requirements, general, and then up top here, it says composition, add in your composition, which we are going to add in. We're going to look for it in our nation. And there we go. We got the London Cup. Okay. And as you can see, it says, the London Cup. Don't have to do anything else on that part. Now, if you missed the videos or you missed the stage where we was creating playoffs and cups in just for nation rules without trying to go to advanced rules and it didn't work for us, but we set up the London Cup in the database and just a reminder of that, you would have to do that in competitions and then just go down to the bottom, add and set it all up. And if I find our one, click into that and there we go there's what we've got now we can go back to advanced rules before we go into the london cup itself for rules we need to do a couple of things in the london nation side of things okay so what we're going to do is we're going to just find where we need to add this not required teams so we will need to set up some fixture rules because we've only got rule zero and one so what i'm going to do is I'm going to add in a rules two and add that to be competition for the London Cup. We do need to remember that rules two because we will need to put that as a index into the competition. And what we're going to do is so anything that we need to do in here is if you click on rules two, it comes up with a screen and we are just going to say use squad numbers and have squad selection eligibility of cup tied players player who has played for another team is cup tied set now that fixture rules is done we need to also add in disciplinary rules well no actually no we don't you can if there's differences to your default so this is my default and we're going to just use that as our default so when it comes to it again in the competition i will put zero so two for fixture rules and a zero for disciplinary rules we need to go up to competitions in london and we need to add in the cup that's it. Done. We are just going to go into our divisions and we're just going to offset some fixture priorities here. So if we go to fixture times, we've got to do this in both. And if you go down to fixture priorities against other fixtures, enable, and we're going to add, and this is going to be Saturday competition, London Cup, day offset to domestic cup low, and of our fixture priority set is domestic cup high. Okay, it's just offset it's our league fixture list by this. We've got to do division two fixture priorities against. Yeah, enable. It's just repetitive. And again, Saturday, London Cup to domestic cup low, domestic cup high. And now we can go to London Cup. Don't have to do anything in this page. And then we come into requirements. Valid years, it's going to be ongoing, so we don't need to do that. General level is going to be zero. Date range we want to put in here, September, and then end month, June, and put that as a one. Start for date range during for which for competition will take place. To be fair, I don't think it is. I've got some dates actually, which I think we're going to go from for fifth round. If I go to our dates, here we go. Yeah, so this is September up until, well, May it says. But actually, fifth round, we're going to go from, we do one, and we do it from February, and then we do June. And year offset. Now, would that be one? For year, for competition starts, zero equals year or competition. One equals next year. You start season in August, which is a zero. 
offset. And then for next year will be a one, right? So it's a one, one. Is that correct? Or was I going to push it back by one year? Let's try that. Let's try that. Because obviously in the FA Cup, as I said, it's September 0, June 1, which makes sense. But where you're starting in the same year, is it 0, 0 or is it 1, 1? I'm going to go for 1, 1 because obviously June and then February. It just makes sense in my eyes. Let's see. Then we're going to go to stages, enable, add, and put in cup. And we're going to have 16 teams. Now we've got 20 teams in our two divisions, 10 in each, but you can't do a cup with 20. So 16 with round one, quarterfinal, semifinal, final, makes sense. And then we will go to here. It's got question marks, but we can get rid of that and put in cup just so it's neat and tidy. And open that up one more, go to general, and we go to reserve teams, reserve, reverse teams. So this takes it into account of actually it's lower league, works your way up in terms of priority. Yeah, it just works out like that. And then we want to tell them how many teams we want. And in this case, it is literally just get all teams from search division one. And then for second one, it won't be get all teams. It get get best teams from division competition. Get best teams in competition. Division two. Because we only want, I don't know why I need to choose my nation. I know what nation it is. Fine. There we go. We just have it like that. And continent as well. No way. Really? Okay. Maximum number of teams. That's going to be six. Okay. And yes. So we're getting all. And then we're getting for best teams in competition, division two, London, Europe, six. And round defaults. We're not going to change anything in our rounds. We're just going to keep it simple. I'm going to, I like for 12, seven from 12, five from 12, sorry, five from 12. In three stops, one plus extra time for cups. For cup round can be small. Then we need to add in for rounds. So we've got four rounds. We've got our first round. Then we've got quarterfinals. Can we find quarterfinals here? Did I go past it? Need to type it. Spell it right, my help. There we go. Then we need to find semi final and then final. There we go. That's our cup structure. Number of teams. So it's going to be 16, 8, 4, and 2. Number of teams added 16 at the beginning, then none, none, none. Number of matches 8, 4, 2, ooh, 2, 1. Number of legs 2, 2, 2, 1. Oh, legs. Oh, wait. Uh, no, let's do legs. One, 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 one. Replays. The maximum number of replays for tires. One, 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 none. That's better. Yep. Then domestic cup high. Get that priority in. Stadium national for the final. Substitution rules. We will leave because that should be defaulted. And then we can done that on stages. We can now go to fixture times and rules. Last day of season stage index. Minus one. Matches use extended stoppage time. Yeah. Then we go down to fixture rules. Fixture rules index. Remember two. That's where we did uh, inputted it into our nation rules. Then we're going to input our fixture dates when we want these tires to take place. So again, we've got four. And that is going to be our first round, quarterfinal, semifinal, and final. 28th of February, 2001. Then we have... 17th of March, by a year. Well, probably would have been easier for me to type it, right? 21st of April, 2001. Then May 26th. Amazing. Then times, we want 19.5. Then rest will be 3 o'clock. Oh, do we do that? As I'm going to do final as 12. Lunchtime kickoff. Just to make it a bit more unique. Stadium rules. National. No flags. Then we're going to do this one. 100, it's just how it's got it on the template. Helps probably with fixture congestion. It's got some other bits, like base year, interval, start year, end date. But to be fair, I'm going to just leave that in there, see what it does. Then we're going to add a preferred days for postponed fixtures. And that'd be a Wednesday. Then we've got VAR, which we're not going to add. Yeah, we're not going to add VAR. So that means we can now go down to discipline. And we are going to use Discipline Index Raw 0, which is the nations. And then we are nearly done. So money, we are going to give a participation money, which first lot is going to be like that. Actually, to be fair, I've got game for um, 
habit of uh, just duplicating because it is literally a duplication of all of this. And you'll see it in a minute, uh, duplicate. I think we only need it twice because we don't have a third division level. But we're going to put it in there anyway, just in case we do start adding in. One, one, two, two, three, three, and that's done. And then we're going to add in some TV money, enable. Each round has a bit of TV money in. So if we pick our rounds, first round, quarterfinal. Ah, what happened there? Did I just clear it? Damn, that was my bad. Damn. I mean, if I just put final, quarterfinal, my bad. That's just made this longer. Let me final. And then I see final there as well. All going to be a 50-50 split. And that is going to be our stage index. Okay, just making sure I capture everything. And we are going to go... 49,495k to a slight increase. Yeah, and a grand increase each round for a bit of TV money. And that is it. We have now added the cup into our database and our rules. Will it work in game? So what we need to do is we need to save. It is on 1.4. Yep, so save. And then we need to test rules. Oh, should have one top level division found two in London. Okay, so if that's within London. Did I miss something here? Uh, wait one sec. What have I put this under? Competition. No, that's right. Did I miss something? Ah, there you go. Domestic division. It's a domestic main cup. There we go. Now let's uh, save. That was my oversider. Save and test rules. Any more errors? Or are we going to go straight for it? I swear it did like 2025. Yeah. So it does different scenarios of competitions. And there we go. We are verified. Save again because we want the verified copy to be saved. And I will catch you in a minute when I load up the game. So we are in the game and I'm going to load up a new game and make sure that we have a database, the correct database, our new database selected. So 1.4 is selected and we will go in and choose original game mode, advanced setup, take away these leagues, don't need these, keep London there. Yeah, I think it's all default, start game. Right, let's go into London, go into profile, and let's see if there is the cup here. London competitions. There we go for London Cup. Well, I like the little badge. It's quite cool with the yellow and blue. But we've already had someone play. Is it done our previous thing already? First round. It's great that we can see this. One replay. Oh no, what's R? First round. Must be a replay. Yeah. Quarter final, semi final, final. Arsenal won it. Okay, it's a bit weird that it's already been played. Past winners, 23-24 Arsenal, 24-25 West Ham. Arsenal, 25-26. How can it pre-play a competition? We're in 2023. Huh? Yeah, I didn't get it. Start date, 1900, 8 date, 1900. Number 13. Was that just specifying on... It's not letting me see any structures of our stages. Hmm. Okay. It works, but it works in a way that it's already been played for for the next three seasons. How odd. How odd indeed. Schedule. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, but it, it's done it as it's back. Been past winners, it shows it as in forward. It's weird. I mean, I don't mind it simulating some previous history if you want. But no, because it shouldn't start like that. Yeah, it's played it like a pre-season fixture. Considering we told it, it states that we want it in. Why is it not putting in dates in? Right, we are going to go back to the editor. And the reason why is because I took a little bit of a break away because I was getting a bit frustrated. And this is what happens when you do the editor. You get frustrated of you think they do a thing and you miss something. You must have missed something, right? Because we're templating for FA Cup into our nation. And we know that FA Cup works in the Premiership. So there's something we missed. And we're going to go and fix that right now. It's okay, guys. These things happen. It's a life of an editor. Right, let's get to it. So I'm going to quickly load up our version 1.4. There you go. It doesn't take long. We are going to go to for London Cup. Go down for list. And where we need to go and add, I believe is in stage. Yes. So stage zero. That's the only stage we've got. And then it's rounds. And here. So... We added it in like this. And as you can see, you've done for teams. You've done when to add for teams. You've done how many matches. You've done for legs. You've done for replays. You've done for fixture priority. You've done for stadium. You've done draw rules. You've done some substitution rules. Guess what? It's more. 
click on round zero. And I think that's what I did. I clicked on it and was like, things that I don't need it anymore. If you click on for arrow, there's more here and we haven't added it. So I'm just going to go through and make sure this is all correct. So let's go to general and see if we've missed anything. Prize money for winner. And in England, you get £255,000 to win that round. Obviously, it's normally a fifth round, but in our case, it's first round. And then the reason why I think it's not going in is because we haven't added the dates. I haven't checked this yet. Now, is it there? Yeah, there's nothing here. We've got times, we've got match rules. There's nothing here. Draw date. So actually, there's no draw going on. We're not telling it when to draw. And maybe that's confusing when it should be happening and when the first match happens of that draw. As you can see, there's no dates. We have put dates in, but that's within, I think that, where is that? That's down here, fixture times and rules. Fixture dates, ah, there you go. But let's read it for a sec. For dates specified here are linked to by two by stages in this competition and are also used when scheduling other competitions to avoid clashing dates. Okay, so we've put fixture dates in, but we haven't actually told the game when our rounds are gonna be. That's our issue, I believe. So I reckon once we put our rounds in, load up the game and it should work. So let's go back to our rounds, open up round zero, and we've got to do this for every single round. Draw date, let's have a look, edit. It'll be 2001, February, and it's normally 28th, because it's on a Wednesday. So we do we draw it on for, do we draw it on the first of every month? Should we just do that? In for evening. Last possible date, number of days, oh, that's fine. We've done it now. Match one time, uh, that has the time off. Then we've got fixture date. Uh, yeah, look, there you go. That is how we'd have to remember. So first round, match rules. We're going to have extra time, penalties, and users 10 yard rule. Okay. Then we've got TV dates, enable. We've got two, it's fine. One and one. So a couple of games on TV there, 1945. I should have copied it, duplicated it, that's not fine. I'm going to put on national TV. We don't do satellite in London. Shared around big matches and big cup matches. That's all we have to do for each round. Okay, now we go to quarter final. Don't have to do anything in general. Oh yes, we do. Prize money for winner, 150,000. Dates, draw after previous round. And that would be first round okay number of days after two time seven o'clock then take away time fixture date we want to choose quarter final match rules extra time oh, extra times penalties and 10 yard rule and then in this one we have some offset days a match on this match date is moved for each offset date so playing at different times, it looks like. So we want to add four, zero, zero, one, one, 12, 30, 17, 30, 13, 30. Things, we can have a look to see what this looks like. Make adjustments if we need to. And then some TV dates, enable one, do that one on a Saturday. I'll leave that blank for a minute because we're gonna have that national been shared around. Just do this, duplicate one, and then 12, 30, and 17, 30. And we move on to round two. We're going to have prize money for winner, one million pounds, and prize money for loser, 500, one, two, three. And then we're going to do dates again, and this will be semi final. I oh, know, it's quarter final now, isn't it? We'll be in semi final, so yeah, after quarter final, number of days after, four time. Number of days after, so one and 19 o'clock. Here, yeah, you think that you add in dates where we did before, and that's it, right? You don't even think about draw dates and then from that draw, what the match is, and if it needs to be any offset, and then TV dates. You just don't think of things like this. It is very in depth, it does blow your mind sometimes. And this is where a lot of people get stuck. Copy, check to see if it works, and then make amendments where you need to. That's my guidance. And that's what we're doing. It's not, well, it is hard because obviously we missed it. But this shows a great highlight is make sure you go through every single thing. Capture, think if you're copying. If we wasn't copying, we would probably miss so much stuff out. We included too much and it'd just be like, that's not possible. Error code and things like that. Fixture date, semi-final, match rules again, the time, penalties, uses. 
I, I just realised I put replays in. I'm probably going to take those replays out because wouldn't I need to do match two for a replay? Yeah, I've got to think now that's going to confuse it. Just thought I'll do it after. Users 10 yard rule, TV dates enabled. And I'm just going to add both. They are actually different. Uh, one, one. Then one's going to be a Sunday. One's going to be a Saturday. One's going to be at 15 o'clock. The other one's going to be at what past five. TV type national, national shared around. And then for the last round, for final, do it all over again. But this time again, prize money for the winner, they get two million pounds. And for prize money for the loser, they get one million pounds. No, it doesn't seem that a lot. Fair enough. I mean, they do get TV money as well. Imagine if like one of our lower league teams wins it. Oh, that'd be amazing. I doubt it though. But maybe in a few seasons, 10 seasons, as it changes around. Then we go to dates and again, draw off the previous round and that's going to be semi-final. But I'm just looking for it. I'm not bothering searching. Should all be low. I went for the lowest number if it was look like quite similar names. Time, number of days after, zero. And then do it at eight o'clock. Fixture date, take away time, put fixture date. And that's going to be final. Match rules, extra time, penalties uses 10 yard rule and then a last thing to do is tv date at one one on a sunday 17 15 and national i wanted to go back then i uh general for replays now where was replays here 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 you know what let's just get this working we can come back but i want to do replays might make semi-finals two legs because it's a small cup could make them all two legs but then we would have to work out how we would do that Let's get it working and then we can decide. Yes, let's do that. I'm already disappointed that we've lost four teams from our whole division. We're not even including our whole division. Is that something that I'm going to have to change in our league structure to make it accommodate? Or did we make our league structure 16? Top division 10? Nah, it's too small. It's too small. Right, anyway, let's uh, save editor data. I'm going to save this as and call this 1.41. And then we are going to go to rules, test rules. Oh, make sure that's all good. There we go. Always look up to the top right and it says two out, two division levels verified. That means we can now save data, editor data. Okay, I will catch you in a new game. Come on, cup, please work. All right, we are in the game and we are going to start a new game career. I feel like you do this a lot with editor and we are going to remove 1.4 and use 1.41. Confirm. Choose game mode, advanced setup, repetitive stuff. This is just want London. Yeah, happy with all that. Start game. Let's go to the London Cup, shall we? And there we go. It hasn't started yet. It's a good one because it says this round will be drawn on the 1st of February 2024. There we go. They haven't been drawn yet. Any history? No, no past winners. Nothing like that. There's no history. It's brand new. Right beforehand, we had like three years of history, but it dotted years ahead, which was weird. Matches, any matches, no. Schedule, no. Composition review, no. Amazing so far. Stages, uh, how about rules? There we go. We can see the stages here. First round, quarter final, semi final, final. It is all here. This is amazing. I didn't even have this before. And it was coming up uh, start date 1900 and end date 1900. So it's definitely got it in now. Now, if we go to a club, go back, go to Arsenal, go to schedule. And there you go. It's in there. London Cup, first round. We got a cup. Right, what I'm going to do quickly is simulate it. We simulated it last time, just to see what the hell was going on. But this time we're going to simulate it and see who our first for London Cup champion is in our Builder Nation series. I'm very excited. Right, we are back. We have simulated a season. Should we go see who our first London Cup champion is let's do it it's what we're here for fulham beat brentford well done fulham you are our first london cup champion how did it go tottenham beat degnan redbridge 2-0 fulham 2-0 palace brentford beat cholton wimbledon beat bromley arsenal beat qpr west ham beat millwall chelsea beat hampton and richmond barnet beat dulwich hamlet second round uh second round quarterfinal fulham beat wimbledon brentford beat barnet Tottenham beat Chelsea. West Ham beat Arsenal. Both extra time. 
Ooh, free tea. What games? This is good. This is Brentford beat Tottenham and Fulham beat West Ham. And then obviously we know the outcome. And Fulham beat Brentford 2-0. Wow, what a cup. What a cup. What I want to do is just look at that on their fixture schedule. What does it look like? So it is there to wait right at the end. Can we do two cups? Can we do a beginning, a start, a starting cup and a end cup? And maybe do it for other way round that. Or a lower league, a lower reputation cup. I don't know. I feel like that because we've missed out four teams. Did we do another one at the beginning of the season? The fixtures are looking much better now, aren't they? With a cup in there. And then obviously if we go to... Let's go Arsenal. Say so should have been in Champions League. Yeah. So this is their fixture list. Division 1, Champions League. Cups intertwined. Three days later, they play West Ham after Paris Saint-Germain. Back-to-back games, they went out Champions League and for London Cup quarterfinal. I like it. This is making it so good. I like it. Right, so now that we've added a cup to our nation, what's next? I think I'm going to do some tidying up, maybe in the next episode. But while I have a break, I'm going to think about it because I don't know. We've added a cup. We've added playoffs and lower leagues. Do we need to do reserves under 18s? I think that's going to come last. But maybe we can add in lower leagues. Do we set up B teams for anyone who's in Division 1 or our top teams? Like you set by reputation maybe that they have a B team. You could have a B team league instead of a reserve league. And the B teams can go up to Division 2. They just can't go to Division 1. Again, I'd have to look at uh, for Spanish leagues or something like that for inspiration. I'm going to research, it's probably a better word, our lower league structure. Because we were thinking North, West, South and East coming up to Division 2. How does that pan out? What we might do is we might just try a North and South divide first and see if that works. Keep it simple. We know that we've got a North and South divide in... Um, for English leagues, uh, for Vanarama National League, because you've got Vanarama National and then you've got North South. Whereas we want for Division 2 to be our Vanarama National League, and then below it you'll have North and South. I think I'm going to look into that one. Yes, I am. Well, there we have it. We have now added a cup to our nation. I hope you enjoyed it. If it has helped you, you know what you need to do. Hit that like button. And if you'd like to support the channel and continue watching content like this, then subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you on the next one.